short and english high speed 200 words per minute we ready for trial dictation for 2 minutes Fifteen seconds left. Five seconds left. Begin. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very happy to be present here and to release a book published by the Center for Good Governance. You are aware of the fact that the author of the book is a senior officer in the government of India. He has rich experience in public service and governance. I am glad to note that his wisdom has been shared in this book for the benefit of the country. I would like to place on record my compliments to the author for his efforts. In my opinion, the subject matter of this book is very important to our present situation. On this occasion, I would like to bring to your kind attention that all over the country, ethical values are going down in all walks of life. As a matter of fact, every profession has seen decline in values in all parts of the country. We see a number of corruption cases daily. I believe that this has not happened all of a sudden. This has taken roots many years back. I am glad to see that this book identifies these issues and at the same time gives some good solutions. I would like to state that I have met several honest officers all over the country. It is a source of great satisfaction that there are still a large number of sincere officers serving the country. I have no doubt that there are many retired civil servants who are known for their sincerity. It must be borne in mind that they have made many sacrifices for the development of the country. On this occasion, I would like to salute them. In this connection, it is necessary for us to remember that the pandemic has helped us find such people at all levels. These include doctors, policemen, sanitary workers and other frontline people. It is a matter of great satisfaction that these people have put the country before themselves. They risk their lives for the welfare of the country as a whole. On this occasion, I would like to remind that we have the issue of corruption as a matter of necessity. Due to its rapid growth, we are not able to uplift the people much in spite of the fact that the country is growing at a rapid pace. As you are aware, corruption undermines democracy. At the same time, it also weakens our institutions. Short and English high speed 200 words per minute. Candidates should transcribe what they have written into longhand verbatim. 10 marks are reserved for short and performance. Handwriting during transcription should be legible and sufficient space should be left between lines. Be ready for dictation. 30 seconds left. Fifteen seconds left. Five seconds left. Begin. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a privilege for me to meet our citizens living in this country. I thank the people of your country for the reception and for inviting me to address this august gathering today. It is my first visit after assuming office as the president. I have been impressed by the love and affection of the people in this country. I have no doubt that our people overseas have helped in building relations all over the world. It is a matter of satisfaction that this is more so in your case. It may not be out of place if I say that you have been at the center of the relations between our two countries. On this occasion, I would like to record that I find here Indians from different walks of life coming from all parts of the country. As teachers, you have made a great service to this country. As traders, you have given a lot of opportunities for employment for the locals. As industrialists, you have been able to improve investment in this country as a whole. In other words, I would like to say that the connection between our people is becoming closer. I am aware that there has been very great relations between our two countries since a long time. In the last century, traders from the western part of the country came and settled here. They have later become citizens here. I believe that in this gathering, there might be members who belong to such families. 
I am happy to note that with your hard work and dedication, you have earned a place of respect in this country. It is a matter of great satisfaction that even though you are living abroad, you have been able to retain all our traditions over the years. Friends, in respect of our relations, in the last few years, it is true that we have seen a lot of improvement. I would like to state that all this has been possible only due to the valuable support we have received from the Indian community here. Your engagement with the local people has been complete. As a matter of fact, Indian films and cricket have caught the imagination of the people here. It is gratifying to see that our traditions are practiced widely in this country. On this occasion, I think it is necessary for me to highlight the fact that this is a land of music and dance much like our own country. I would like to request our Indian people here to take advantage of the local culture and at the same time showcase our own cultural diversity. It is a matter of satisfaction that both our countries have a large young population. It is therefore necessary that you must make special efforts to connect with the youth in this country. They are the future of this country and we will be able to get new ideas from them. This will also help you to develop modern thoughts to a great extent. In the long run, you will be able to give us solutions, especially in the matter of climate change and environment. In this regard, I hope and trust that such cooperation would help us raise the standard of living of the people here in the years to come. In my address on Republic Day, I have said that Indians, whether at home or abroad, must see how we can help our country in all respects. In this connection, it is necessary that all of us must find ways and means to give back something to the society. I am sure that the role you can play is very great in this regard. You can take up noble causes, remain connected to the local people and be helpful to the host country. In my opinion, this would in fact be helpful in serving our country in a better way. In this connection, I would like to bring to your kind attention the fact that our government is keen to improve ties with our people abroad. You are aware that new schemes were launched for the benefit of Indians living abroad. On this occasion, I assure you that we will be there to support you whenever necessary. You are aware of the efforts taken by our government to bring back all Indians through special flights when they were affected by the pandemic and other issues. In this regard, I would like to assure you once again, that ours is a government that cares. Ladies and gentlemen, today India is on a path of economic growth. As you are aware, there is confidence and hope among our youth. As a matter of fact, a new India is taking shape. On the one hand, it has opened up new opportunities for association with other countries of the world. On the other hand, it has to be borne in mind that this has not happened all of a sudden. We are at this stage as a result of the sustained efforts taken by the government in this regard. As I have pointed out, we have made many reforms in the last few years. We have brought a unified tax regime and new schemes to help the poorer sections of the society. Microcredit for traders and free gas cylinders to poor women are examples in this regard. I hope and trust that with such efforts, we will be able to give much relief to the poor people as early as possible. On this occasion, it is absolutely necessary for us to remember that good governance is the foundation for the new India we would like to build. We have been able to tackle corruption to a great extent. At the same time, I would like to assure you that we will set the highest standards in public life in the years to come. With these words, I would conclude thanking you once again for the warm welcome.